。联合国安全理事会在七月三十日召开会议，针对小岛屿发展中国家所面临的和平与安全议题进行讨论。The issues facing seeds are global challenges. They are our collective responsibility. 会议讨论议题包括传统武装冲突、跨国犯罪与海盗、自然资源开发、气候变迁和相关的自然灾害及不平衡发展。小岛屿发展中国家面临着一系列的和平与安全挑战。The Security Council has rightly highlighted the threat of climate change to international peace and security. Rising sea levels, dying coral reefs, and increasing frequency. And severity of natural disasters exacerbate the conditions leading to community displacement and migration. 气候变迁、永续发展和跨国犯罪都是小岛屿发展中国家所面临的重大挑战。Seeds are also focusing, as never before, on the menace of transnational organized crime. 这些挑战都需要全球性合作、能力的建立以及领导力，需要更多的资源整合，以让小岛国家人民的生活可以更有尊严。We have witnessed significant, serious transnational organized crimes activities in the region. These include drugs and firearms trafficking, financial crimes and money laundering, human trafficking. And people smuggling, labor, and sexual exploitation. 来自小岛国家的领导人也呼吁联合国担负起更大的领导和整合责任。It is therefore imperative that the United Nations and its member states commit to tackling threats to international peace and security, especially through the UN Security Council. 因为海平面上升而面临淹没危机的小岛国及黎巴斯的总统更是大声疾呼，需要国际社会做出承诺。We have all come this distance at considerable cost to attend this event because for us it is of vital importance. Our people are asking the question: What is it that we can expect to come out of this United Nations Security Council event? Can we, as leaders, Return today to our people, and say with confidence: Yes, your existence, your lives are important, and we, your leaders of the global community, have formulated the options to ensure that no matter how high the sea rises, no matter how severe the storm gets, there are credible technical solutions to raise your islands and your homes, and the necessary resources are available to ensure. That all will be in place before it is too late. Kiribati President also said that the global countries are facing the problem of all the world's citizens' responsibility. The sad reality is that we cannot do it alone. Hence, our appeal to this council today, and of course to the rest of the global community, for us responsible global citizens of this planet that we share as a home, it is our moral obligation to ensure its preservation. 小岛国家的迫切现状与心声，只希望可以真的被听到，并且可以得到有效且及时的回应措施。记者杜希林博宏编译。